What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. And whichever platforms you are listening to this on, I want to let you know I really do appreciate you. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead, hit that button. If you're listening to this on YouTube while you're at it, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up this place. Let's get into this podversation slash politics and BS. All right, guys, this is absolutely disgusting, but I can't even say it surprises me. These politicians, former politicians, whatever, those people that get into these offices and they just make it a lifelong career of being in positions of authority and they abuse their positions. Stuff like this is honestly par for the course, but it's being reported that Rudy Giuliani former mayor of New York City, he was at one time called the the people's mayor, uh, America's mayor during the 9-11 issues that happened many years ago. And he has since been pretty much disgraced. He has been one of the former president's former attorneys now, and I believe his bills still haven't gotten paid. But he definitely has been doing his share of dirty things. Now he's being sued for $10 million in damages and unpaid wages by a former assistant by the name of Noel Dunphy, who was 43 years old. He's being accused of making her perform oral favors on him while he was on the phone to the former president. So it's disgusting. This story comes from the Telegraph and she's saying that she was subjected to wide ranging sexual assault and harassment. She also claimed he went on alcohol drenched rants that included sexist, racist and anti-Semitic remarks and made her work environment unbearable. I can't say that I'm surprised. Of course, it's all alleged, but this is what she's accusing him of. And she says she has recordings of numerous interactions with him. So it's a complaint that's over 70 pages and says, quote, he often demanded oral, you know what, while he took phone calls on speakerphone from high profile friends and clients, including the former president, 45. Juliana told Ms. Dunphy that he enjoyed engaging in this conduct while on the telephone because it made him feel like Bill Clinton, the same man that these so-called conservative Republicans couldn't stand and impeached him for getting oral favors while he was in office. Remember that? So in a statement, a rep for Mr. Giuliani, who is 78 years old, of course, is saying that he, quote, vehemently and completely denies the allegations in the complaint and plans to thoroughly defend against these allegations. This is pure harassment and an attempt at extortion. Listen, people lie. Yeah, they do. But who's the liar in this situation? Because I really don't believe, even though this is alleged, that this woman would come out and make all of these claims if none of it is true. Now, it could possibly be that she was okay with doing it. Not saying that she wanted to, but in exchange for the money being right and being in the position that she was in, that she did these things and maybe some things that she was expecting did not go her way at some point. So she switched up and said that she was made to do these things. That definitely is possible, but it's all disgusting. So his rep added, Mayor Giuliani's lifetime of public service speaks for itself and he will pursue all available remedies and counterclaims. He categorically denies all of the allegations of this frivolous complaint. And (laughs) he's also claiming and denying that she ever worked for him. So it's like 
damn, like, do you also just want to deny that you are even Rudy Giuliani? It's just absolutely crazy. But she was hired as his director of business development and public relations consultant for $1 million a year, the complaint says. And she alleged that he began taking advantage of her as soon as she started working for him, kissing her in the back of an SUV on her first day. The complaint says he made clear that satisfying his sexual demands, which came virtually anytime, anywhere, was an absolute requirement of her employment. It was claimed that he often demanded (laughs) that she work nude in a bikini or in short shorts with, of course, an American flag, got to be a patriot, right, (laughs) on them that he bought for her. The complaint also adds he drank morning, noon, and night, and he was frequently intoxicated, and therefore his behavior was always unpredictable. She also claims that he took Viagra constantly and that she worked under the constant threat that he might demand SEX from her at any moment. When they were apart, they would often work remotely via video conference. And during those conferences, Giuliani almost always asked her to remove her clothes on camera. She's alleging that he claimed to have immunity and told her that he was selling pardons for $2 million, which he and the former president would split. The complaint alleges that Lev Parnas, a Giuliani associate previously convicted for fraud, was present for that conversation. So she's claiming that she has a witness. However, the lawsuit does not suggest any pardons were in fact sold. She claims she was told by Giuliani that her salary would have to be deferred until the end of a divorce he was going through. And he only paid her $12,000 $12,000 and she was still owed $1,988,000. What? So you were doing sexual favors for this disgusting cretin and you claim you got hired and you were supposed to be making $1 million a year, but you only got paid 12000 Not 120000 12000 something mm. i'm not saying that she's lying but how naive can you be and i'm sorry i don't care if the job was paying 20 million dollars a year there is no amount of money there's just some things with that i don't understand i get it some people are wired differently not everybody can say that they would have the morals to say i would not do something like that for any amount of money i get that but I'm just speaking for myself. I don't want to be broke. I obviously don't. But there's just some things I'm just not going to do. I don't care how much they say I'm going to get paid. Even if the money was given to me up front, it's just not something that I understand. So I would never be able to put myself in a position where I understand people that do stuff like this. But she's suing him and she's accusing him of unlawful abuses of power, wide-ranging sexual assault and harassment, wage theft, and other misconduct. And she's also alleging that he previewed plans to attempt to overturn the 2020 presidential election if the former president lost. So she's also claiming that she has proof that he was involved in trying to possibly overturn the previous election. This, this is just a lot. I, <laughs> I see these things sometimes in passing. Sometimes, you know, I may read an article and it just baffles me. It's extremely tiring, honestly, when I see these things going on because it's just so much corruption on so many levels in all factions of politics, no matter the party. But When you hear about these people that claim to be Christians and conservatives and right and all that other stuff, and then you hear stuff like this coming out, even though they're allegations, 
that I believe, in my opinion, are real, even if not all of them are real, I, I do not believe that this woman would come out here and just state 100% lies about this man. I just don't. Even if a lot of it doesn't make sense, like her saying that she was hired for $1 million a year and she was only paid 12000 and she's still owed almost $2 million, and she still worked and did sexual stuff with this disgusting cretin, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it wouldn't make sense to a lot of people, but I don't believe that she is out here just outright lying on this man. It just is crazy. It's crazy. Because there's so much stuff going on in not just the this country, of course, the world, but when you hear about all of the things going on in this country and you hear about people who are supposed to be in positions of leadership that take advantage of people when they do stuff like this, it just really makes you feel like, there's just no hope it it just that's what it makes me feel like at least I really don't have any hope in any of these people I'd never put my hope in them but it's crazy you know for him to she said (laughs) make a statement like he likes to do stuff like that because it makes him feel like former president Bill Clinton this is gross I don't think she lied about that I believe her I could be wrong but I'm just stating my opinion that I don't believe that she was lying about that So guys, I just wanted to talk about this. You can let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Absolutely crazy. Um, All the politics and BS, it is just way, way over my head. And it just makes me disgusted and makes me tired. And I I don't want to engage. But when I saw this story, I wanted to just talk about it. So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.